Hey, what's going on guys? Ralph Joseph here at St. Albert Dodge and what I got right next to me is this Hydro Blue 2021 Jeep Cherokee 80th anniversary. But first and foremost, we got to take a look to see what we are working with underneath this hood here. Powered by a 3.2 liter V6 VVT 8-speed automatic transmission, folks. And wherever you guys see the yellow, that's where you guys do your thing. You top up, you monitor. The rest, you leave up to our amazing professionals in the back. All right, nice grill fascia right here. Um, black with the blue, always do the do. Of course, we can't forget that. You got these nice granite colored 19 inch alloy wheels. You got the 80th anniversary badge, so you don't forget it's the 80th anniversary. It's not just any Cherokee over here, all right? You got your roof rails, put some roof racks on it, um, do a little bit of camping, put a little bit of gear on there. Um, move on to the back, folks. You got your you know, class four level hitch, which is, is in, included with the tow package. So it got the cooling transmission, all that it needed is necessary to do some little bit of towing on this bad boy, as well as you got the, you got the pins down there as well. Dual exhaust, you got your backup sensors and your backup camera. And one of my all time features is the power lift gate, folks. This thing is just zooted. We got tons of trunk space back here. You can put groceries, camping gear, strollers, golf clubs, you name it. Maybe even put a couple of bodies back here, but no, that's not the third row seater. That's the other vehicle. Press the button and it all goes down there. But let's take a look on the inside to see what we're working with. Hey, what's going on guys? Ralph Joseph here at St. Albert Dodge. Just here to show you the inside of this Jeep Cherokee 80th anniversary. First and foremost, you got the full leather front and back seats, completely full gem leather, which is just phenomenal, I tell you. All right, um, take a look on the left side here. You got your power windows, you got your power locks, standard folks, standard, don't even worry about it. You got your automatic lights. Um, and of course you got your little, little operation right here. You can access the tailgate with the push of a button just on the left right here, which is, uh, which is a nice little feature there. Push that there, push it down again, and it, it close away. Of course, you got your power seats and you got your lumbar. So if the lower back is a little, little acting a little different, don't worry adjust the lumbar the way you see fits best so you can get a little comfortable in these ones all right we take a look at the steering wheel you, of course you got your cruise control you got your cluster dash navigation up down left to right and once your phone is connected via bluetooth or android auto apple carplay you'll be able to answer and end the phone call and use your voice command just with the push of a button just like that on the back of the steering wheel, folks, on the right side, you got your volume up. And on the left side, you got, your, you know, change your channels, change the station. You got little buttons on them as well to change between the stations, which is nice. We're going to turn that down just a little bit as well. You got your 8.4 inch screen, which has never failed us. Of course, you got your AM, FM, Sirius XM. And once your phone is connected via Bluetooth, aux, or USB, it will display on here. Um, once your phone is connected, however, it'll display on here with the Android Auto or Apple CarPlay or Bluetooth. Have it right connected right there. Climate control, you can operate either on the screen or down here, which is a nice little feature to have. Kind of give a little option, not just one way to go. Um, dual climate control as well. So if the ones feeling a little hot, feeling a little cold, feeling a little cold, feel a little hot, you don't have to worry about that. No more fighting over the temperature. Just choose what you want and I choose what I want and we'll call it at that, all right? You know, you can operate it through here, down here. You can access controls right in here or down here, but I'll go down here. You got your heated seats and heated steering wheel, nice and toasty. You can access the backup camera at any point in time. Look how big that is on that 8.4 screen. I like it, I like it. All right, exit out of that. You got your controls, you got your navigation. So if you don't want to use your GPS on your phone or whatnot, use it on the, you know, the, you know, little screen there. Allow it to do its work, doesn't use any of your data whatsoever. So you are good there. And you're saying to configure it the way that you see fits best for your liking, which is phenomenal. Backup sensors, you can turn it off or on. If you don't like the beep, beep, beep sound, simply turn it off, cut it, don't have to worry about it. You can mute it at any point in time. You can turn off the screen at any point in time. You got your engine off and on button, so if you don't like it turning off on the stop sign or red lights, boom, turn it off. You don't have to worry about it. Tracks control as per normal, and your uh, climate control just at the bottom here with your volume and um, tunes selection down here. You got your select terrain, so if you're in some you know sticky situations with the snow, with the sand, mud, or you just feel a little bit sporty with the shift of a button, changes it down there and you see your cluster dash adjusts it accordingly sport same 
ordeal and sand and mud but my personal preference i like to go all the way to auto and set it and forget it so i can enjoy the driving experience and i have to worry about which road condition am i in to change these to allow the system to do its thing all right um you got your usb down here with the aux and the 12 volt you got a little bit of storage right here enough for maybe a phone or two which is nice so my phone fits in there nice and perfectly maybe even a couple of phones Ooh, i like that you got some storage down here and in here you lift this up you got some storage put some knickknacks and put some patty wax down here you got another usb which you're all good to go and folks i can't forget this the panoramic sunroof all right it goes all the way halfway if you like or it goes all the way with another push of a button to the back so the passengers not only in the front is enjoying the views in the skies and the sunshine but the passengers in the back as well and with the push of a button open sesame but folks if you want to you know go for a little test drive look further more into this vehicle come on down and ask for ralph joseph or simply give me a call or text best number to reach me at is 780-293-9444 i look forward to it okay